happy travelers. Greetings from Venice. Last time you saw us, we were exploring Florence for a couple of days. Well, we just got off the train in Santa Lucia train station in Venice, about to hit the Grand Canal, which is beautiful. We were here four years ago. And let me tell you, Venice is one of those places that is just as awesome as it seems in photos. We'll be spending three nights here in Venice exploring the city. We're staying at the Hilton here in Venice. And unfortunately, all transportation is on strike right now. Um, so we have about a 20 minute walk with all of our bags, which yeah. kind of stinks. <laughs> we, normally we would be able to go right from the train station to a water taxi that would take us right there. But we got out there and realized nothing was running and then called the hotel and found out that there's a strike that goes till midnight tonight. So we're gonna have to walk with our bags about a mile. But that saves us a little bit of money. So I guess, you know, I could just buy a gelato and a glass of wine, make up for it later. so far a mile walk and then we walked in the wrong direction for a while and then we couldn't figure out how to get tickets for the I guess one water bus that's running today we figured it out and now we have a couple more minutes to walk then we'll be at our hotel and I feel like we're gonna pass out I feel like the hardest part of any trip is trying to figure out how to get to your accommodation after you get there well hey guys welcome to our room at the Hilton Venice <laughs> So we've checked in here and they have upgraded us. So I have gold status with Hilton. So occasionally we get upgrades if there's room. So oh, we got one today. Let me give you a little tour. This place is really super nice. I like it a lot. They've got this little entryway here, plenty of room. I can go like this. Very important in a hotel room. So then we've got our nice big king size bed over here. Everything looks brand new. I don't know when they renovated, but everything looks really, really awesome. So it's a little bit nautical themed, but not like in a cheesy way, which I really like. Nice hardwood floors. I really like this little credenza that the TV is on and the mini bars in. It's kind of like art deco vibes, but it's giving me major inspiration for restoring furniture, which is a hobby that I have when I'm at home. Somehow they know me really well because they left us a nice chilled bottle of Prosecco. Very nice. A couple little walnuts for the munchies. Venice is made up of a whole bunch of islands and one of them is called Murano where the art of glass making is their main feature. But they left me this little trinket. It is Murano glass. I'm not sure if it's a bracelet. I think it might be a bracelet, but it's a little... How cute is that? Thanks, Hilton. Gonna love it. I think the closet in this room is noteworthy, not because it's like really big or anything, just because there's a lot of attention to detail. These are the little gondolier symbols right here as, as the handles. And then when you open it up, it's got this art piece of what the Hilton looks like on the outside. It used to be a flour mill, which was obviously converted into this hotel. So I think it's really cool. It's just like a drawing of the Hilton. Fluffy robes up there, always a plus, but otherwise just a normal closet. The room is very nice, but my favorite part has got to be the view. The Hilton is on a residential island that's across from the main island of Venice. It's called Judeca. You have to take a boat to get over here, which isn't really a big deal because we're in Venice, but it's got a fantastic view of the main island. Very cool. And of course, everyone always wants a bathroom tour. This bathroom's really nice. It's like black and white and very elegant. Of course, you have to have your bidet because you're in Europe. I don't get it, but you know, whatever. It's all pretty much marble. There's a really nice shower with some really cool tile. Very modern, but also classic. The room is lightly themed and there's a light fixture that's really cool that you can tell it kind of reminds me of like a mermaid octopus kind of thing, but very classic. And the ceiling has these wooden beams, which I don't know if they're original or not, probably not, but it still gives it a really good character. It's very nice. It's better than your average cookie cutter room, I think. So after that long journey from the train station over here, we are in desperate need of a drink and it happens to be happy hour. Luckily with our Hilton Honors card, we get executive privileges, so the drinks are free.
After enjoying the perks of the executive lounge and probably too many glasses of Prosecco, we have decided to go for a little walk just along the canal. To, just we've got we've just <laughs> we've decided to go for a little walk along the canal to see if we can find a little restaurant on this side. I don't think we want to try to go to the other side right now just because with the public transportation down, it was kind of a big hassle coming across. I don't think we want to deal with that again. And we had a lot of snacks right now, so we're not super hungry. So we'll see what we can find. Sure, 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 sure. sure. walked down by the water for a little ways before finding ourselves at a really nice restaurant. They were able to give us a couple seats right on the water and ate way too much food. But we still had room for tiramisu. Apparently, tiramisu was invented in Venice. Or so they say. That's good enough for me. To order a dinner. Tiramisu! <laughs> so we're just gonna rest up tonight and prepare for a big day of exploration tomorrow. Good morning. I'm going to get some breakfast. We're on the later end of breakfast because we allowed ourselves to sleep in this morning, which is really nice because we're pretty run down at the end of this trip. But we're still extremely happy to be in Venice and can't wait to explore this after three cups of coffee, I think. caffeinated yet but we've gotten our food which is a good thing it's a good step it's normally a buffet breakfast but because of covid they have someone serve it to you so you say i want you know two croissants and some eggs and they put it on the plate so it's like an a la carte buffet oddly still a good spread though hilton usually has pretty good breakfast and as i've said multiple times in past videos I have gold status, so we get free breakfast when we come to Hilton's, which saves us a ton of money. Uh, if you want to apply to that credit card, I'll link it down below so you can get gold status too. This would be like, I think 20 or 25 euros a person a day. So we're saving like 50 euros a day, which is awesome. We can get as much as we want, so it's pretty good. We got to the main island of Venice and it's actually a lot busier than I thought it would be. This is probably the busiest we've seen anything in Italy so far. We ended up buying a 48 hour pass for the bus system. Everywhere that you're gonna get around Venice is on boat, so there's like a water bus. It can be a little tricky to navigate, which we just found out as we got on what we thought was gonna be one stop and ended up going for a little bit of a ride before we got to a different destination. Looking for a hat. They don't have the right one though. So it's really tough being a YouTuber and an Instagrammer because I have to dress like this but also film all the time. And since we thought we were going to Jordan, I have a hat just like this at home. But I didn't bring it, so I had to get one here. It was 12 euros, so it was kind of expensive for what it is, but you know, we're in the middle of Venice, so of course. But this is Strictly for Instagram, not really for fashion or what I would normally wear, but these are the things we do when we're Instagrammers. Do I look like a, a gondolier? Would you take a gondola ride from me? <laughs> so we figured out that it's an Italian holiday, which explains the crowds. I'm just a little thrown off by it, I think. But, you know, it's Italy, it's Venice, so you can't really complain that much. Definitely when you're here, when you're obviously in St. Mark's Square, it's gonna be super busy, but the good thing about Venice is if you just kind of wander around, you can easily lose the crowds and get into some back canals and stuff. So we're gonna go find some Venetian food for lunch, I think, and we're just gonna 
wander until we find something good. We're going in search of some chiquetti, which is a, it's a Venetian thing. It, it's called chiquetti. They're kind of like Venetian tapas. So you go to these little hole in the wall places and they give you these different plates and you pay per plate. And it's, you know, like a Euro, two Euros or something. They're like tiny sandwiches, basically tapas. And usually you drink a glass of wine with it, of course. And we're gonna go have that for lunch, I think as soon as we find a good place. We didn't exactly find a traditional chiquetti place, but this place is kind of like a hybrid. Uh, we're really hungry and it's getting to be on like three o'clock, so we figured we'd just stop. Maybe later we'll find another chiquetti. But we still got some, um, they call them ombras, just like a small glass of wine, and I'm getting spaghetti because I saw that on the menu and it looked really good, so. Right by the water. It looks really good, okay? I got pasta sauce on my shirt, so I need a bib. It really doesn't look different than your shirt. So our plan for Venice today is just to explore, which is like, I think the number one thing that you need to do in Venice is just walk around. It's so beautiful. Get lost in some little back alleyways. Yeah. So that is exactly what we did. We just kind of wandered around some little back alleys away from most people. And we found this really cool, like, I guess it's a restaurant. We got some coffees here and there's like vintage chairs out front and it's just a really cool little courtyard and yeah, definitely wouldn't have found this if we weren't just wandering aimlessly. Yeah, she freaked out. I was like, I, I don't care. I have to, <laughs> you have to sit down and buy something here. <laughs> Luckily, we both wanted coffee, so it yes. worked out. We went from wine, walked five minutes, sat down for coffee. I think, and then we'll probably walk five minutes more and sit down for wine again. So it's a good day. Ah, Venice. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find some spots where we've seen some nice photos and we just randomly came across the famous bookstore the La Alta bookstore I believe it's called and we went in to try to get a photo and it was definitely not how it looks on Instagram no we were there was a lot of people we were kind of pushed through yeah pushed through in a line and they were like yelling at us in Italian and we had about 20 seconds to take a photo yeah. so I honestly would have bought something if we, they didn't just like shuffle us through the store super quickly. So. I would have liked to look around, but it was just kind of a get in and get out sort of yeah. situation. It was like a very narrow aisle and we were just all, I don't know, it was, it was weird. But you know, that's the reality of the things you see on Instagram. Maybe I'll write a blog post about what it's really like. But it's getting to be later on in the day and we're kind of just exploring more, like I said, like I feel bad that we're not going to museums and stuff, but we honestly did that the last time we were in Venice. So we're kind of just enjoying seeing these little back canals. Yeah, back alleys and little unknown canals. I think it's been maybe like an hour since we had something to eat or drink, so we should probably go do that again pretty soon. Yeah, I agree. I mean, <laughs> my energy levels are terrible. <laughs> So on our way to get food, Kevin stopped and wanted to get pizza. <laughs> if there's any time to stop on the street and get pizza, it's... Yeah. So we don't want to like sit down, have a big meal, and then like five hours later have another big meal. So we're just kind of like picking things as we go. And they had beer, so... And they had my new favorite thing that I got in Cinque Terre, the lemon soda. So good. But we're just kind of waiting for the crowds to dissipate and the light to get a little better. And then I think tomorrow we're going to do some more exploring, but we're going to try to go to another island. This 
this one's getting grumpy because we haven't had any real food in a while, so we had to stop. <laughs> It's our last hurrah for today. We are eating some actual dinner, and then I think we're gonna head home, or head to our hotel, I should say. I actually went with some beef tonight because I've had a lot of pasta lately, and I'm sure I'll have pasta tomorrow. But the beef sounded good tonight. I also went with red wine, which is something I normally don't do because I like white wine, but they recommended it with the beef, so I bought one in Rome or Venice. We made it back to our hotel room at the Hilton. We're so tired. I don't think either of us expected to be out that late or explore for that long considering how kind of run down we are at the end of this trip, but Venice is really easy to get lost in and we just kept finding photo opportunity after photo opportunity and then the light got really good at St. Mark's Square, so. And then when we finally decided to come back, we couldn't figure out the bus. Uh, but we're here and we're gonna shower now and then go out for a fresh day of exploring tomorrow. Good thing is, we got the photos that we wanted in St. Mark's Square that we were gonna take very early tomorrow morning. So I don't think we're gonna be getting up all that early. No. Nope. Uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna visit a different island called Burano, which is like very colorful and looks like an awesome place to take more photos. Good night for tonight and we will see you tomorrow. This one's eyeing up. Birds. Come on, okay, I'm back on. So it's their last hurrah for today. Whoa. It, Imagine what a world it would be if husbands always listened to their wives. I'm cutting all that out. <laughs> <laughs> apparently tiramisu is... Apparently tiramisu... was created? Apparently... we have... A f and just try to get... And just try to get, dude. And we're, and we're just gonna rest up. And we're just gonna <laughs> shut up, dude. I'm trying to say this. We're just gonna rest up and uh, prepare. We're just gonna rest up and it's... prepare for. <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Shut up. We're gonna <laughs> stop laughing. You're gonna ruin my clip. You're already doing a good job of that. I'm trying to do the vlogging.